Whenever you create a new composition, you can look at your project settings and decide how you want your comp to appear. Let's go to the composition menu and choose new composition. As you can see in our composition settings dialog box, the very first thing we can do is give it a name. It's already highlighted for you, so all you have to do is start typing. Next, you can choose a preset. And when you click this little button here, a whole bunch of stuff's gonna show up. Wow. So we can create web banners for the internet. We can create things for television in the NTSC, DV, widescreen, D1, all these formats here. Also the PAL format. You have the high def formats here, DVC Pro, HDTV, and film. This is like when you go to see Iron Man in the theater, the big stuff. You can also, of course, adjust these guys yourself to create your own custom preset. And if you want to lock the aspect ratio, just make sure this is enabled. In other words, if I take this off, now I can adjust one of these components and the other will not change. But with this guy selected, they will always try to stay in exact aspect ratios. So now when I do that, you see it says custom now. So I can go back here and choose one of the presets. Don't forget guys, when you're working for things for TV and film and for computer use, you're dealing with pixels, okay? So we have PX. We're not really dealing with inches. We can also choose a pixel aspect ratio. So we can go to square pixels or oblong pixels. We can even choose our frame rate. So we can go 29.97 and we can change the frame rate right here in this little drop down list. And this is frames per second. Typically, television is about 30 frames per second and film is around 24 frames. And you have these other ones in between. If you're doing video for the web, I suggest 15 or even 12. But of course, test your movie out and see how it plays back. We can change the resolution. So we can work in full resolution, half, third, quarter, and custom. If I choose half, you see that the new size will be right here, 360 by 243. And if I go back to full, it matches this number up here. I can even change my time code start and the duration of my footage. I can change the background color as well. So once I have all these settings set up, all I have to do is hit OK. And now I'm ready to rock and make my comp. If I ever want to go back and change anything, I simply go back to composition. And this time I choose composition settings instead of new composition. And the dialog box reappears and I can change things.